Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geomatics Engineering and in today's video we are going to discuss about the marking scheme for GATE 2024 examination. So if we talk about the syllabus, the syllabus is divided into two parts. Part A that is a mandatory section and part B is divided into two sections where candidate must attend either section 1 or section 2. So in the examination there will be three type of question. First will be MCQ and second will be multiple select question MSQ where two or three options can be correct and third type is numerical answer type where the answer you have to provide in a numerical format. So in a mandatory section that is part A there will be a general aptitude section and as shown in the slide numerical aptitude, verbal aptitude related questions will be there in this section and the marking distribution for this general aptitude section is there will be 10 number of questions, 5 questions will be for 1 mark and 5 questions will be for 2 marks. So 10 questions total will mark around 15. So from general aptitude section you will get total 15 marks. Moving to the next section that is also the part of common section. The questions in this section related to geomatics engineering. The topics will be there from engineering mathematics, GNSS, remote sensing and GIS related questions will be there. And if we talk about the marking scheme of this section. So this is also we talked about the general aptitude marking scheme. Scheme. And now part A common section marking scheme. So there will be 36 number of questions. 17 questions will be of 1 mark. 19 questions will be of 2 marks. So total 55 marks you will gain from this part. So this is a very important part. You have to prepare for it. Because it is a mandatory section, you have to attempt all the questions from this. And if you prepare well for this section, you can get 55 marks from this section. That is a huge number. So moving to the part B, there will be two sections. Section will, will be related to surveying part. And section 2 is related to most of the digital image processing part. So you have to attend either section 1 or either section 2 from this part. So if we talk about the marking scheme of this part, so there will be 19 questions from this part. 8 will be of 1 mark and 11 will be of 2 marks. So total 30 marks you will get from here. So now total number of questions in gate geomatics engineering will be 65 and you will get total of 100 marks from the 65 questions. And yes, there is a negative marking system for this examination. So as you know, there are three types of questions, one mark questions, two marks questions and also numerical types questions are there. So if we talk about negative marking system, if you gave a wrong answer for one marks question, there will be one by three marks will be deducted. That is around 0 0.3. 0 0.3 marks will be deducted. And if you make a wrong answer for 2 marks question, there will be 2 by 3 marks will be deducted. So around 0.6 marks will be deducted if you gave a wrong answer for 2 marks MCQ question. If there will be any unattempted questions, you will not lose any marks. And for numerical type questions, there will be no negative marking. And there is also one more type of question that is MSQ. So for NAT and MSQ type of questions, no negative marks will be deducted. I hope that all of you understood about this marking scheme for gate geomatics engineering examination. If you have any queries, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you for being in this video. Thank you very much.